today I have three essential tool combinations that you can use when using the pen tool. As designers it's important to have a website to show off our portfolio of work. Bookmark offers the most straightforward and quickest way to generate an awesome website without even having to write down a single line of code and all completed in a matter of minutes. Check out the link in the description below to learn more about Bookmark and design your website today. So today we're taking a look at three different tools in Illustrator that are great when they're combined with the pen tool. The first tool today is the width tool and to demonstrate the various uses it has, let's press P for the pen tool and draw ourselves a line right across the document. Remember guys, you can hold down shift to draw a perfectly straight line, no matter where your cursor hovers. So with this first pen tool combination, you can find the width tool here in the toolbar. Or you can use the shortcut shift and W, which is the keyboard shortcut. The width tool is awesome because you can change the thickness of a pen tool path anywhere along the line. And this is useful for digital illustrations, but also things like logo designing. No other tool offers you this level of customization along a pen tool path. Also, you can hold down the Alt Option key and click and drag just one part of the line like so. As you edit and work with the pen tool path, and the width tool, you are going to be creating a stroke style here. And then you can actually use this stroke style on a completely new path using the pen tool. The next tool that is awesome to use in combination with the pen tool is the smooth tool. You can find that here in the toolbar. And this tool is great if you're not too amazing with the pen tool just yet. But also it's really good just to smoothen out your paths on your designs. So quickly to demonstrate, I'm going to draw a pen tool path that is not smooth and quite jagged. All you need to do is to click and draw over the path like so. And this will make your line that much more smoother with every single stroke. Also, you can click a single anchor point just once with the smooth tool and the whole line will be smoothened out as well. This tool is really useful and I use it quite often when I'm using the pen tool too. Before the last tool in today's list, if you enjoy my content and you find my tutorials useful, make sure to subscribe for four to five videos every single week right here at Satori Graphics. The third and the final tool today, which is very useful when using the pen tool, is the join tool. On screen are two prime examples where the join tool could be useful on your graphic design works. But firstly, I still have people asking me how are my anchor points actually larger than usual. So if you have Illustrator CC, you can come into the preferences here and adjust the size to be larger or smaller. I'm actually going to lower mine for this part of the tutorial. So the join tool in this situation here on the left can actually join two lines where they intersect. This helps you when you're designing something in a very freehand manner using the pen tool and you then want to tidy things up on your design. And here on the right is another situation where the join tool can be used and it will actually extend two lines so they can join together. The lines will continue on the direction that the path is already heading until they meet. And as you can see here, that is exactly what just happened. So when you're using the pen tool for your graphic designs, remember to use these three tools in combination and when needed. Like and share my content on social media if you want to help out my channel. And of course, until next time, design your future today. Peace.